all winter 2019 Woohoo! one of my favorite brands if not one of my or the favorite brand out there at the moment they do the god's work noah um formerly um no oh, sorry no is it noah is awake it's awake isn't it we're doing noah why is that click why did i say that for oh okay awake awake um new, new york sorry um uh, this is their full winter collection and i'm sure you guys are, are, are familiar with awake um it's obviously founded by an ex-supreme employee in angelo basque and he's kind of gone on he kind of quit supreme uh, maybe at his peak as well right the kind of global expansion there's rumors of the san francisco store maybe another european store opening up very very soon so they're very you know they're out there pumped you know loads of money's been pumped in james jebby has been acknowledged with these kind of mainstream awards and shit people are like you know trying to copy the um the secret source that supreme have so for him to decide to kind of venture away from supreme and take a step away was a very brave decision but also very apt very um a very good indication of just how creative and how um how much he needed a voice right because if you know Andrew Bus, you know his involvement in nom de guerre from back in the day so you know he's got a very storied history in streetwear it's not like someone just came out of the blue um he's been around for a while so maybe the idea to start his own brand and to have his own little outpost to create to have his own way of presenting streetwear was something that he wanted to do and we know from the stuff that noah's done so far and um uh sorry that brendan babylon's has done so far at uh, noah that these people that worked underneath supreme had a very particular way that they saw streetwear um, being presented and they couldn't do it under the supreme umbrella everything so far we've seen from noah everything so far we've even seen from awake doesn't look anything like what supreme would do uh, maybe there's a couple of pieces here and there that you can maybe see sprinkling collection but overall supreme seemed like an incubator for um those talents and those abilities those people have it and over a period of time the only natural progression and, and, and again i think in general too maybe it's a self-sustaining thing i think supreme survives as a brand when people like Angelo, when people like Brendan decide to go out and venture away and go and do new things, because then it invites newer talent to come in. Because it means, you know, imagine if Angelo and Brendan say, you know, I can't talk to that consumer anymore. I want to talk to another consumer. Then whoever wants to talk to the Supreme consumer comes in and it kind of regurgitates. And when those guys and girls get over it, they go out and then people else come replace. It's a really uh, um, efficient way to make sure the brand is fresh because, you know, what a Supreme 20 plus years in. And still, every collection sells out. Every collection's more coveted. Every collection resells. People are wet. And the thing about Supreme now, even though I don't wear it as much, people actually wear it. Like that's the thing that I'm happy to see. You see kids wearing the actual item, which is nice. Back in the day, there was a little bit more of a, oh, I've got it in the plastic bag thing. I think I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I, you see a lot of Supreme, especially you Supreme being sold, which is no, I'm not mad at all. But um, let's get back to Awake. Awake and Why is from. Um, Angelo again I've been keeping my tabs on this and I think there are so many brands out there at this kind of level of streetwear that are doing so many great things I think nowadays if you're a kid and you want to start a brand or if you're a kid and you want to wear a brand there's so many options you have to choose from and I think Awake should definitely be something you should be including in your wardrobe and you can tell over the and I, what I like about streetwear is that in my opinion um, what I prefer about streetwear over fashion is that you can grow with a brand and you can see it evolve and develop as it gets more popular as they secure more investment as the production quality increases manufacturing increases maybe knowledge garment fabrication all these things are when they improve over time you can kind of ride the journey you can start off buying a t-shirt from a brand printed on a D dtg printer or whatever it may be um maybe kind of hand painted or whatever it may be and then over time they can start going into cut and sew they can start making actual their own buying their own fabrics not just buying it off the shelf or manufacturing their fabrics it's a really cool space to be in as a fan of, an, of a brand or a fan of a designer you can really stand there and support somebody from the, from the inception all the way until they kind of blow up and become you know mainstream like for instance like a, if you're the hundreds fan back in the day right you could have seen the hundreds from when you know bobby was essentially sketching stuff on tracing paper and then you know going to the screen printing shop and screen printing stuff himself onto a t-shirt and then now suddenly you know they're sold in fucking shopping malls all over the united states all over the world for the most part it's quite a cool journey to be on so awake has got this um new fall winter 19 collection which for me looks like maybe their best one so far i actually like spring summer collection spring summer 19 too i think there's some really cool collections there with the twin towels and the kind of long trench coat it looks fucking banging but i like this awake collection here we've got some really nice amazing i don't know if it's tie-dye sort of like print here at the beginning first image sort of like a tracksuit sweat tracksuit with an amazing um font of the awake logo um it reminds me a little bit of who's the graphic designer who's the tattoo artist that tattooed um virgil and kanye um he's got oh, he's got he does the stuff with the cash with the money and the skulls it seems like something a font that he would have done 
so kind of like an italic thing um it's sort of like 3d rendered of what well, 3d shaded so it's kind of the 3d model of it um outline on the front you've got the little peak the a at the front and you've got the awake logo at the back and it's sort of like weird um tie-dye volcano print red blue black white yellow and oranges really nice hues there um the trainers are interesting also are there a collaboration that we see there at the bottom can we zoom in there not too sure if they're collaboration maybe they are but the sweatshirts this again the tracksuit looks fucking banging i'm a big fan of that this is the jacket that i'm going to be all over like a rash when this comes out i'm buying this instantly number one i love the cashier that the kids got on the lookbook so the styling already is very much um it's very much in the you know in the same sort of feel and vibe of the quintessential kind of like retail mafia streetwear sort of like um new york streetwear centric lookbooks you know stark backgrounds cool angles really cool casting really great accessories utilizing the accessories maybe of the model that they're wearing themselves you know i mean some nice little bits and pieces included there and just simple not a lot of clashes in colors not a lot of clashes in prints just some really basic um styling tips but the coach jacket they've got here looks banging it's essentially like um their version of a coach jacket but also made like sort of like a coach jacket but like a starter coach jacket it seems like a little bit like um not sure if it's reversible it looks reversible i like the fact that they pinched it in on the sides make it look more of like a bomber the He's got a ring on a Casio gold watch that looks fucking amazing. Um, so awake and why in that similar sort of font, you've got it in this kind of um, is it the what what what, what colorway is that? Is that uh, Almighty Ducks? What colorway is that? I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with hockey teams, but uh, you've got the purple and lilac there. You've got this amazing cardigan, it looks really cool. A very, a very kind of, I'm gonna say, a very um, Jamaican caribbean uncle vibe with that cardigan and sense why the kid that's modeling it has these amazing dreads on um again a nice jumper here on the side um new york city we've got some nice kind of pajama silk shirts from awake as well with some egyptian motifs on it which look really cool i'm sure there's a lot of um a lot of interesting backstory that goes into that, that angelo is probably going to make sure that we are aware of somewhere down the line we have an amazing again some great hoodie ideas here with the logo sort of like um double um, two logos on top of each other so you've got one logo with a border one logo without a border sort of like stitched on top of each other with a bit of a space you've got this amazing nice really cool beanie again some quintessential streetwear stuff you got a really nice ribbed beanie here that looks really really well done maybe they're gonna put durags together as well part of the collection you've got a flannel t-shirt a long sleeve tie-dye t-shirt with a picture of like a maria with like a was that maria right a, a saint on it in the front Another cool T-shirt here with some great logo on the on the back and the front, similar to the tie dye thing. Just a, and a really cleverly put collection. And again, that coach jacket. Um, I think it's a coach jacket, right? Is that a zip inside? So it must it must be reversible. And probably it's not. Probably it's just a coach jacket style type thing. It looks really cool. Um, again, so here's the full lookbook or line sheet you'd maybe call it um, from Awake here. Very again, very much quintessential streetwear. Um, some great some great uh, outwear bits some great t-shirts long sleeve button-ups um a couple of accessories and just really well done man really 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 well done like a lot i love the look of this let's kind of quickly scan through this so you've got the coach jacket you've got the hoodies obviously in the two colorways the tie-dye and the black again very much that's what i mentioned before like a physical item this comes to life for me because number one you're seeing these cool kids wearing them in the, in the lookbook and number two there's an actual physical item that's been taken a picture of uploaded onto the internet so that you can purchase so i'm a big fan of this again you've got this amazing rose of flower cardigan you've got great t-shirts there as well i mean great sorry long sleeve shirts um, silk pajama shirts you've got some great flannels plaid shirts there a couple of good long sleeves great line of collection of t-shirts another collection of t-shirts black white and camo print which is nice you've got a corduroy logo caps which i'm sure will be very very popular with the kids i like to wear dad caps for me i can't because i've got a massive head and my hair is huge maybe the bucket hat i could wear but again maybe i'm a bit too old to wear a bucket hat nowadays the cable or the cable knit or the kind of you know the 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 knit the knit beanies i'm a big fan of that pink and neon green colorway goes fucking off so that'll be a good one to get um i love the again the, the kind of rainbow of the same as the tie-dye maybe kind of collaboration um, in terms of the hue of the beanie you've got some nice sort of a level little pouch there again nice sort of toiletry bag for you to take with you a nice waist bag as well there great i love the collaborate the color combination between the orange and the lilac as well that's a very nice hue you've got is that like a grinder for spices right um that looks really cool and some great access look some awesome sticker packs as well there that you can take a look of so again quintessential streetwear this is the reason why i love for 11 streetwear so it's very to the point um 
And again, just spark, to me, um, really reminds me of the old school retail mafia days, man. Some really cool stuff. It's due to come out October 22nd, so set your clocks ready. Loads of cool stuff that I'm sure most of it will sell out very, very soon when it, when, that, when that's available for, to purchase. But yeah, really cool stuff from Awaken Why One of my favorite streetwear brands out there at the moment. I think if you're a kid now and you're looking for a new brand to kind of support and back, these are your guys. These are your guys.